Hi guys, this video is about who is Wormsley and why this guy need to create such a number so of our new studies today. To ask what is Wormsley number, we need to first compare it with another number. Why not? Both of the numbers are dimensionalless and both of them are for scaling of similar. The tricky thing here is the two numbers have the same physical meaning, which is the ratio of the inertia force to the viscous force. So, the difference of these two numbers is just one is named by Osborne, and the other one is named by John. So, why people need two numbers that in this the same? To answer this question, we can imagine our heart is connected to a rigid pipe. And surely our blood will blow out and you would like to know how fast is the blood going out. And we can solve this question with a neighbor's short equation. With a neighbor's short equation, we can do a non-dimensionalization of the equation with some replacement of the variable. And we can now get the following equation with some rearrangement of the variable the equation become, becomes something like this. And the left hand side is indeed the square of the Wormsley number. And the right hand side we have the Reynolds number. In the case of the steady flow, the left hand side becomes zero. And so in conclusion, we can say the Reynolds number is controlling the steady flow part of the equation. And the Wormsley number is indeed controlling the unsteady flow part of the equation. Both of the numbers are controlling the velocity profile, so they indeed share the similar characteristics. For a smaller Wormsley number, the velocity profile is more like a parabolic. And for a larger Wormsley number, the velocity profile becomes more flattened. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. If you have another question, feel free to ask your professor. Thank you.